Hey, how's it going? Well, I have these two softbox lights that I got from Amazon for pretty cheap. At U, uh, HP USN, I think is the brand. Kind of a weird name that you can't actually say. You just have to say all the letters. Sort of like BASF, right? Uh, B-A-S-F. At B-A-S-F. We don't make the things that you that you normally use. We make the things that you normally use better. Safola tastes better. So anyway, so in each of these softbox lights, uh, it has one of these. This is a huge CFL, uh, compact fluorescent light. Um, and I've never been a fan of these things uh, for the very reason why, uh, it, it, what happened a couple nights ago to one of these. Uh, it started smoking. I had to turn off the light, take, uh, immediately uh, take it out, uh, bring it outside so it can, you know, it won't fill up the house too much. I still had to air out the house, but, uh, you know, I've seen that happen so many times. When these go out, no matter what size, they can start smoking. I've seen them catch on fire before fire shoots out the bottom section of them. It's just like, really? These things are still being sold? It's, it's weird. Well, you know, you save on energy. Yeah, by starting a fire. That's great. Anyway... Um, and maybe some people are thinking I'm, this is hyperbole, but, uh, um, I've seen this happen just too many times. So anyway, these soft boxes are supposed to use E27 bulbs. Uh, and that's what, uh, Europe usually uses. It's, and, and, and here in the United States, we use E26 and, uh, you know, even if the thread fits, it may not be the right kind of power. So every time I tried plugging, putting and screwing in any of the other kind of bulbs I had in the house, none of them worked. So I thought, okay, maybe it, maybe if I get a spe one of these special studio bulbs that is says it's, it will work for both E27 and E26, maybe it will work. Came in, it came in today. I hooked it up. I'm really happy with it. As you can see, it's 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 a bit brighter. Uh, maybe maybe I'm a little bit uh, maybe the exposure is a little bit high. I don't know. I think it looks kind of good this way. But uh, um, but the thing I'm liking about it the most is the color balance is way better on this light. It, way better. And it, and some of that's because of the nature of what uh, fluorescent bulbs are like. There's always a, a tiny band of light that's missing. Like if you look at look at uh, a light from a from on, at a fluorescent light source through one of, a prism or one of those things that those little things you put in front of your eye that that, that I don't know how you describe it it's like a little light kaleidoscope kind of thing and it's not really the right way to pronounce, uh, to say it either but they've got this this weird thing you can look through that kind of does a prism effect and when you look at the rainbow you can sometimes see that oh wow this this color is actually missing from the from the whole spectrum and that's what happens with these. That's what happens with any any fluorescent. There's always going to be this little bit sliver of, of color that's missing. And that's why uh, so often when you look at uh, uh, you're under a fluorescent light, it's like, wow, my skin is my skin really that green? Well, no, it's the light, right? So normally when I'm uh, I have to adjust the the white balance of the camera to make up for this weirdness in, in how it like makes the skin color. But now I'm not gonna have to do that. I've already changed it a little bit uh, to, to, to more normal and uh, it's, it's, this is just way better, way better. So I'm looking forward to, I ordered another one and it'll come in on Friday and I'll have two of them and, and I won't have to worry about them catching fire or, or smoking because that doesn't seem to happen on the LED ones. I've never seen it happen to any sort of LED replacement. It's always, um, oh, God, I love planes going over, don't you? Um, it just, it, all that I've ever seen it do is just, it'll flicker a bunch of times or it'll be really dim. And it's like, okay, it's time to change it. Okay, great. No problem. And the thing is also, and it's it's not even the LEDs themselves that go out. It's, it's. It's the power source. It's the way they're powered. That's the part that always seems to go out. So, you know, even if these things only last uh, a year, that that's fine. You know, uh, it's not that. Ex it wasn't too much. Not as much. I mean, I've seen some people spend some pretty ridiculous sums on lighting 
Mm. You know? Just ridiculous. I, I just can't see spending that much. Some of them, oh, it's this special... Uh, it's it's based off a of laser, and it's just like, yeah, you, do you do you really need that? I don't know. I I suppose if you got the money, great. But uh, I always try to find the cheapest way I can do something. So.